everyone! Welcome to today's video, and today I have a slightly different twist for you on my monthly makeup look. Um, in the past month, I've been trying so many new products. Not necessarily new to me, some of them I already had a while, but this is the month that I truly fell in love with them. So this isn't just a makeup look, but it's also a video in which I talk you through some of my current favorite makeup products that I've been loving all month. Um, the eye makeup look, for instance, that I'm wearing today, I've been going back to time and time again. Whenever I was in a bit of a hurry in the morning, I would just slap this on and head out the door. The same for, like, my cheek look here that I'm wearing with the blush and the highlight. This has been my favorite cheek combo all month. So if you would like to see which makeup products I've been loving in the month of February, then stay tuned. So the first thing I'll be doing is priming my eyelids with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. So I always like to prime my eyes first because it just uh, helps the product to settle down a little bit because I have pretty oily eyelids and if I don't do this first then things just tend to go wrong. I started using a new brow pencil. This is by Essence and this was in a limited edition collection over summer. And I really have to say that I really enjoy this pencil. Um, it is a little bit darker than what I usually use but it's still a very nice cool toned product and uh, that's what I like about this. So I'm just going to put this in my brows. It's great if you just want to fill in your brows and don't really have to alter the shape. The nib of this isn't super fine, but that's why it really works for filling in brows. And then we end up with something like this, which is a bit too harsh. So I like to take a spoolie and just brush everything through. And then I'm going in with a little bit of the Anastasia Brow Gel. Uh, I think this is running very low by now, uh, it's just sample size. And I do have to say I quite like this, and with brow gels I'm not too fussy, but I do have to say that I also think this is quite wet. Um, so it's I don't think this is my favorite brow gel ever, but it's been good to give it a go. I'm going in with a new foundation as well. I hadn't tried this before. This is the MAC Waterweight SPF 50 foundation. Um, I went into MAC to repurchase the face and body foundation and then the lady recommended this to me because it has a bit more coverage than the face and body and that's what I'm looking for. Um, still very watery, still very light coverage, but it definitely has a bit more coverage than the face and body. Plus the face and body also doesn't come in the right shade for me. I used to have it and I use it up completely, but it was always a little bit too dark, I found. Whereas this one uh, comes in the like NC and W range, and I believe, yeah, this is the NC15 one. Uh, so that's what I've been using for the past two or three weeks. And so far I'm really liking it. So I put this on my finger, and as you can see, it's very watery. And then I just put it all over my face where I think I need the coverage and then I blend it out with a buffer brush. So there we go. Moving on then, still to my very favorite concealer. I don't know how long I've been using this for. I think I've been using this for four or five months straight now, and I just haven't been reaching for anything else. That's how much I like this stuff. Uh, this is the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in Light Ivory. Great shade, perfect amount of peachiness, works all over your face. I cannot recommend this stuff enough. So here we go. I like how it comes with a brush. It is a little bit grimy after using it for a while, um, but it is easy when you start applying it, so very handy. I like to use the Real Techniques setting brush to blend this out. I've also been using a new face powder. This one is by Catrice. 
This is the Prime and Fine Metifying Power Waterproof in Transparent. Let me show you what this looks like. There we go. It's just a white looking powder. And I like this because it does set my makeup in place, but I'm not the biggest fan of this. I heard so many people rave about this. Um, but what I find is that this, it does have a lot of like, if you just like rub your finger through it, it does have quite a bit of payoff. So that's great. I'm not sure if you can see this, but um, the powder after using it a few times has all these like little bumps in it. And that just means that this powder is either lumping together or it becomes very clumpy, which means that the quality of this just isn't all that. I mean, my Too Faced powder that I love, the Primed and Poreless, really, really doesn't do with that. I always like to use a flat buffer brush to apply powder, uh, cause you can just like dot it on and then like wipe it away. Um, to me, that's just the best way to apply powder. And I only apply it on targeted areas of my face as well um, because I only like to apply powder there where I get a little bit oily or where my makeup tends to crease under not under my eyes for instance so there we go my next step is always to use face products uh, next so my contour bronzer highlight blush that's what the next step is going to be and for my contour and bronzer I've been loving this when did I buy this I think I bought this last summer and then I just, I didn't really get around to using it all that much. I've been using this all month. Like, I have not been reaching for any other bronzer or contour all month. And the ones that I'm using are these two. This one is my bronzer and this is my contour. The shades of this, it's just perfect. The powders are so finely milled and just, oh, I really, really, really love this product. For my bronzer, um, I've been using a really large stippling brush, but I feel that this really diffuses it very nicely uh, and just really nicely bronzes up the face without going overboard a little bit too much. So I'm just gonna go in around the edge of my face. I bring it down the neck just to add a little bit more color to the face. There we go, not as pale as pasty anymore. I like to go into the contour shade, again with a stippling brush because that just makes it, again, not too harsh. Um, but I just like to take it from the top of my ear and then just go down. And I'm not too precise with this because I just want it to be contoured and that's it. Then a, a cheap combo that I discovered this past month isn't just a contour shade and light palette by Kat Von D, but also this blush and this highlight. This is the Strobe Light by LA Girl in 110 watt. And this is the Physician, Physician's Formula Happy Booster in Warm. Um, and these two together make for like the best healthy, glowy, flushed cheek. And what I like to do is start with highlight first. And for that, I'm using a Zoeva. I think this is called a highlight brush. Yes, it is. So it's a very light, fluffy brush. And then what I like to do is I just uh, take the, if you hold the brush like this, I used to go into it like this and then apply it. But what I've been doing lately is to like place this side of the brush into to the powder and then just kind of use a larger part of my cheek to contour, like bring it up to the brow bone and like my temple and just really make sure this entire area is highlighted. Whatever's left on the brush, I take down my nose, tip of my nose, and a Cupid's bow. And I'm using the Real Techniques blush brush for this. And I'm just dabbing it really like get a generous amount on there. And then I like to start here, pretty close to my nose, really on the apple of my cheek. And then I like to like sweep that over the highlight and the bronzer just to bring it all together, you could say. And then I bring it up to my temple. So I really like focus all of my face products really to that side of the face. And there you have the cheek look. I don't know about you, but I think this looks super pretty, super glowy, nicely contoured. It's all there. For eyes, again, I also have a favorite combination. In the past months, I've been buying some ColourPop stuff as well as some Makeup Geek stuff. And what I found is that ColourPop's Partridge uh, Super Shock Shadow, which looks like this. It's like a duochrome brown, bluish kind of um, shadow. And then what I've been doing is 
layering this Makeup Geek shade over it. And this is a duochrome as well, and it's called Havoc. And it's like a lighter version of Partridge. So if you layer them over it, you get like the nicest duochrome sheen on your eyes. And I just blend it out with a bit of brownie points by Makeup Geek. And I use my trusty old uh, single by The Body Shop, which has been discontinued, but this is my favorite like creamy off-white uh, shade to like set your brow bone highlight and all that and to set your makeup base in place. This is just the perfect shade for that. So this is that that has been my favorite eye combo all month. So I just like using my fingers to apply this so I just get a little bit of it on my finger and then I just dab this onto my lid. I like to use a blending brush. This is the Sigma E45. And then I just apply a little bit of brownie points. That's this one right here. So a matte cool tone brown. That's what I like to go in with. And I just put that in the crease. And just to diffuse that crease a little bit more, because I don't like a very dark crease, uh, I take a little bit of Latte on a very fluffy brush, and I just like use that to blend out that crease a bit more. And then I take this, uh, what's this called again? The Sonia Kashuk number 203 brush. This is a very nice brow bone highlight brush, and I take that, the Body Shop shade, and just apply that to my brow bone area. I love how this isn't too stark. It just adds the right amount of highlight on your brow bone and it's just quick and easy. I love it. To highlight the inner corner, I'm going in with Shimma Shimma. Now I'm going to take that shade that I was talking about, Havoc, the Duo Chrome one, and I'm just going to put that on a flat shader brush. And I just like to layer that over and like Push it into the crease a little bit just to make sure it's all nice and even. I'm going to use Havoc again, this time with a Smoky Eyes Brush by Essence, and I'm going to apply this to the lower lash line. I've also used up my mascara, so I've been using a new mascara. I'm not too fussed about this one. This is a sample of the Clinique High Impact Mascara. I like it, it gets the job done, but I don't think I'll be buying this in a full size. But it works. That's almost everything done, and because the eyes are pretty dark and intense, even though it only took like three steps, <laughs> um, I do like to keep a fairly neutral lip with this. And then I'm going in with Max Brave. This is just such a great everyday shade, I love it. Those were all of my favorite products of the month of February, all put all my face in one makeup look. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and subscribe because I make new videos every single Sunday. I hope to see you then. Bye.